Today, we're going to be visiting the Bass Pro Shop in Mesa, Arizona. Here with Gary Sempt, fishing with Gary Sempt. So what we're going to do is, out of all the thousands of rods you see here, which one is the good rod? Which one is the, the rods that you actually can afford to buy? So that's what I'm going to teach you. I'm going to give you three of my best rods without having to pay a lot of money, OK? And I'm going to teach you what reels to put on there, the line to put on there, how to rig some of the products that I like to use. And that's our goal today, why we're down here at the Bass Pro Shop. So to start with, let's move over here. And this is a brand new titanium fishing rod. It's made by Johnny Morris. OK, it's a medium to medium like. I like the lighter ones because I like that light feel when I'm bouncing that tungsten weight over the rocks. I like the feel that just coming over the rocks and then I, I move it a little bit, then I stop, then all of a sudden that moves again. That's the fish. So as soon as you feel that next movement, you have to set the hook. And that's where most people make their mistakes. That first bite is really essential that you catch that fish. So you're moving that tungsten weight and all of a sudden you stop it, you feel a little bit more movement, set the hook, all right? So the first rod we're gonna talk about is the, the titanium. It's a seven foot, I like seven foot rods. If you're smaller than I am, you might want a 610 or a 66, or you might want something bigger, like a 72, 74. These rods are priced at 129 and they go on sale all the time for about 20, 25% off. I'm gonna show you the reel that I like to use with this also. I also, it doesn't come with its own reel, but it does come with a, I use a carbon light reel. So let me put this up. Now this is the same rod, I brought this from home, but I'm gonna show you the reel that I like. I, what I did was team this up with a carbon light reel. It's a white, this year's white, last year was black. These reels only weigh 5.8 ounces. Some of the other reels that weigh 5.8 ounces, some of these reels cost $360. But this reel is $129, and of course, they put them on sale all the time. So you can't go wrong. My idea is fishing is to have something that's very, very light. So if somebody's walking by and I go, hey, check this rod out, and I hand it to them, they go, oh my gosh, that's so light, you know? I could fish with that all day. Well, that's the point. You want to fish with it all day long. If you're using something real heavy, it gets tiring on your wrist and your arms, especially when you get to my age. So the next rod I'm going to show you is going to be a browning, all right? So browning rods are made for the Bass Pro Shop, all right? And they're a very, very sensitive rod. It's called a super light. So um, they are very, very light. Now they come with their own reel, and I'll show you that one. This is, what the, this is what the browning reel looks like. It also is around 5.8, 5.9 ounces. And the rod's only a few ounces at that, you know. But they have a real, they have an excellent drag system with them and very, very fish, fishable. Now again, you can buy the, the, the heaviness you want. If you want to use a medium heavy, if you're used to that, that's fine. If you're a bigger guy than I am. I like the, the light with a medium light with a fast tip because I can fish this up to a half ounce and I'm not gonna use anything over a half ounce, like a half ounce jig or something like that or a half ounce weight. I'm not gonna go heavier than that. I'm gonna just use a half ounce, three eighths or one quarter and that's Texas rigging or throwing light jigs, Yamamoto jigs. So the next rod we're gonna talk about is going to be the carbon light. Now we have carbon lights right here. They're white this year. Last year they were black. And they're very, very sensitive. This used to be my favorite rod. When these came out about four years ago, these were the most sensitive rods that I could find. You know, and they, they were always 20, 25% off too. Now these come with their own reel also. And that's again, the carbon light reel is 5.8 ounces. And it's got a good drag system on it. You can see the quality of it is all made of titanium and it's uh, got the magnetic weights on the side. So 
I'll take you over and we'll look at some of the reels and show you where the reels are. And then we're gonna spin around the store and we're gonna look at different things. I'm gonna show you the best value for your line. What kind of line I like that I don't ever have a problem with that you can afford. Instead of spending $30, $40 for line, you can buy it for 20 bucks. So let's go on over there and come on over and join me and we'll go over to the reels and we'll look at some of the reels and show you where the reel count, uh, counter is. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna stop at the reel counter here because we have just a, a ton of nice reels that you can see. So remember I talked about the carbon light, the carbon light rod? Well, here's actually the reel that, uh, that we use for that. It's a very light, it's got a really good drag system, you know, it's got about eight ball bearings, nine ball bearings to it, and it works really, really well. And like I said, they always are putting these things on sale. So uh, I would team this up with the white rod myself, like I do, and you can't go wrong with that. The other one is the super light browning. This is another one of those that's real light, you know, real, real light. So this is another one that has 10 ball bearings to it. You can't go wrong with this one. You know, to team it up with that rod I showed you, the super light browning rod. So. And I'll tell you what, if you don't like these, you can find another reel here somewhere. And these guys back here, boy, they work back here in the reel section. They will team you up with any kind of reel you want, put line on for you, talk about it, talk about the rod, the match. You know, you couldn't get better with another. But you can see all the hundreds or hundreds of reels back here. And they have everything from little tiny reels for kids all the way up to saltwater reels for going out in the ocean. You know, we're coming over to the line section, and line can be one of the most important things that you use on your reels. For my fluorocarbon, my pick is gonna be the XPS. This is a fluorocarbon line. It's very abrasive, and uh, I like to use anything above 10 pound test. Most of my line I use is 12, 14, 16, or 17. Mem remember, most of our lakes here in Arizona are very clear and deep. So I, like, I don't like using 20, 25, or 65 pound braid because we have very few lakes to choose from as where people back east have thousands of lakes to choose from. So this would be my monofilament line. And if you don't wanna pay the $20 for that and you like regular monofilament line instead of the fluorocarbon line, let's walk down here and let me show you another good buy to use. As you can see, there's just a ton of different lines you can buy. Now, most of these lines <clears throat> come in a spool of 300 yards for $7.99 or $8.99. But guess what? You can come over here and you can buy this jumbo spool for $9.99. You get 1,500 yards of monofilament line in this spool. That's three, four times the amount five times the amount that you're gonna get in another spool that you would normally be paying $35 for, for $9.99. So this is my choice for regular uh, monofilament. As you can You know, we talked about line, we talked about rods, we talked about reels. Let's talk about other techniques that I have and show you some inexpensive ways to rig these. I always use these bobber stoppers that I've always talked about on my shows. One is with the bobber stopper drop shot rig I use, but I also use these bobber stoppers when I'm using the tungsten weight and a hook to put on there to peg that weight. Cause I like that weight just, you know, I'm always pitching into a tree or the rocks or something. So I like that weight just to be snug, but these are the bobber stoppers. Now, if you want to learn about that bobber stopper drop shot, you can go into my videos, they're free. Go into YouTube, Fishing with Gary Simpt. That's all you have to do. And you can see all the shows. The Bartlett Lake one is the one that shows you the bobber stopper trick, all right? Let me show you some other things that I have. The XPS hooks, all right? These hooks are very, very sharp, you know? And of course you wanna team up the, the right hook with whatever you're using and the right size bait, you know? What I like to do, and I'll show you, you can tell the difference between a hook like this 
you know, if you try to pull that, look how that just digs right in to my nail, you know. That's just the one, number one. There's a two, a one, and then it goes to one aught. So I rig this on a drop shot. I like these long shankers and long shank hooks instead of the little tiny, little tiny ones. Again, a lot of people will say, well, I don't like those. I like to use just the real small hooks. The reason I hook, use this long shank one is because if there's a tree there or a bush there where the bass lives, I'm going to throw that right in the middle of it. And I, my, I'm going to take a chance of catching that fish out of the middle of the tree. So that's why I do use this type of hook. So if I'm going to use a brush hog, I'm going to team that up with a two-odd hook or a one-odd hook. You know, I team it up with the size of worm that I'm going to use. So now we have the hook that we're using for a drop shot, or we can buy these inexpensive hooks. I mean, you get, for $5.79, you get 25 hooks, you know. You can buy more expensive hooks. I use other hooks too. But when I'm practicing for my fishing tournaments, I'm using the Bass Pro Shop hooks. And I use them in the tournaments also. Because if you get, get one that's uh, snagged up or, or no good, it's easy to cut that off and you're only losing, you know, 20 cents or something instead of a buck 50, two bucks for a hook. So bobber stoppers, look the videos up on the Bartlett Lake Show. You can see how I rig these with the drop shot barber stopper trick. Tungsten weights, I know these are a little bit expensive, but you don't lose that many. If you're fishing from a boat, you can get right over the top of it, jiggle your rod, and that pops right out of the rocks. So I, very le I probably only lose maybe one weight on each fishing trip. And you've seen me at the lakes fishing, so. But if you can't, you can use lead. So now we've showed you everything we need to know to go fishing. All we got to do now is show you a couple of my baits I like to use, and we'll do that in just a few minutes. You know, another thing that I like to use is the rubber worms. One of my favorite rubber worms is the morning dawn in the robo worm. That's one of my favorite. You can't go wrong fishing in Arizona with this worm. They bite on this worm at Lake Pleasant, Bartlett Lake, Roosevelt Lake, Apache Lake, but there's another few colors that I like to do at different lakes and I'll show those to you because not one color is gonna work all the time. Next we have the ox blood or the people's worm, the browns. So keep it simple, you know. I don't know why they bite on the pink with the chartreuse, but I like the browns. And then we'll pick out just the, the morning dawn without the chartreuse on it. That's a good one. If they're not biting on the one with the chartreuse, they're biting on this one. And let me pick out one more to show you without giving you too much to look at. This little baby right here, this is the red crawler. This one works excellent everywhere. So if you can come in and just pick out a few bags of these, I'm telling you, you'll have a full arsenal. You don't have to go through 500,000 bags of worms, but there are other ones that work, but these always work. I mean, you can drop shot these or you can Texas rig them. So the next place we're gonna go, we're gonna go over and look at some brush hogs. Well, finally, we're at one of my most favorite baits there is, the brush hog, the baby brush hogs. These little jewels right here catch fish. This is the, like the baby brush hog. It's the purple green pumpkin, all right? And they have little flake in there and stuff like that. They work excellent. Turn that around so you can see that. There's a few colors that work exceptionally good. This is one of them. You can use these at night fishing too. They bite really good on nights, night fishing for this. All right, here's another one that works real well that you guys would love to use at Bartlett or Roosevelt. This one that has the gold flake like this, excellent. This is the one you always see me doing my shows on. These work really well. So they even work at Apache Lake. These are the ones I was catching last year at the Saguaro Lake. These are what I was Texas rigging in the real deep in the canyons up, up the lake. You can also go uh, neutral. You can go with um, just the, the regular green pumpkin. We can just do regular green pumpkin. That always works. You can't go wrong with green pumpkin or the watermelon seed. That's another good one. Those always work. 
I've been uh, using uh, some of this black sapphire, and you can tell for night night fishing because this is summertime. Then the best time to go fishing now would be like 6 p.m. till 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. For you guys that do the tournaments, the tournaments are always running 6 to 1. So these uh, blue flake and sap black sapphire, they always work very well at night. But I always use even my regular brush hogs at night, and they work good too. So listen, I just want to thank you guys for watching my videos. And... Uh, Feel free to watch them. Uh, one other thing I want to give you is come to our free fishing seminars. Once a month, my other partner, Matt Schur, and I do the free fishing video uh, shows and seminars on the second Tuesday of every month. That's the second Tuesday of each month at 6.30 p.m. up in the fine gun room. Bring your wife, bring your husband, bring the kids. We give away 50, 60, 70 dollars in free gifts every, every seminar we get. 50 to 150 people show up. You can come and have a good good time. And we call in, I'll name the top name fishermen from all over. And we just make it a fun event. It's the only one in the state of Arizona that gives these free fishing seminars away. So thanks again for tuning in. I hope you have a good time fishing.